King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video showing you how to update to the official EI22 gingerbread on your Samsung Epic 4G. This method is for unrooted phones, so if you are on stock EC05, you can go ahead and follow this method. So this is how to do it manually. If you do want to check if your phone is available for the update, hit menu settings, go to about phone at the bottom and then go to system updates right there and then update firmware, update Android, check them both and to see if you have the update over the air update. If you're not getting it, you can just update it manually by following the instructions in this video. So um, I am on stock EC05 Android uh, 2.2 to check this. You can go to settings again, about phone again and then right there, baseband version EC05 right there, firmware version 2.2.1. So in case you were wondering, Froyo EC05 build number as well. So I am on stock EC05. What you're gonna need to do to update to EI22 is click on the link in the description of the video. It takes to the Android Creative Syndicate forum right here, as you can see, ACS forum. Um, I did post this download link for you guys. As you can see, how to update to Gingerbread EI22 on stock and rooted. Uh, for unrooted phones, click on this link right here, this download link. So click on that, download that file. That's the only file you're gonna need. It's gonna look like this right there. It's gonna be a bunch of letters and numbers. It's gonna be a zip file. You're just gonna need to actually go to that zip file. So wherever that, wherever, whatever folder it's in, maybe in your downloads folder, it's gonna look like this, as you can see right there. It's gonna look like that. Um, you're just gonna have to rename it. So click on it again and rename it to update. So just update and hit enter. So just make sure you rename it to update. I already have, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of files that are called update, so I'm gonna delete those real quick so I can have it named just update. You don't want it to say have numbers after this, so make sure it's the only one called update. And uh, so there you go. So as you can see, it's called update right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in my phone now. So once I have it renamed update, I'm gonna plug in my Epic into my PC because I'm gonna need to get that zip file onto my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and hit mass storage and connect USB storage, hit okay. And it should connect to my PC and pop up a window letting me know it's connected. Like so, and then it should pop up just like so on my PC. Now all I'm gonna have to do is go into that download right there to my downloads folder and drag that update.zip onto my SD card. Don't put it in a folder or anything, just click and drag update over to your removable disk. Transfer it on over. Um, as you can see, I already have one called update.zip. I'm gonna copy and replace it. So it's gonna go ahead and copy on over. It might take a little while to copy over as you can see, but just make sure you have that update.zip onto your SD card and once it is on your SD card, you can uh, go ahead and eject your, your phone. All right, and once that file's done transferring, you're gonna need to eject your removable disk, so right click on it and hit eject. So go ahead and eject it, and once that's done, you can actually go back to your Epic and unplug it. So go ahead and unplug your uh, Samsung Epic. And uh, once that's done, you can actually just power off your phone. So you're gonna need to power off your device once you have that, ensure that update.zip is on your SD card. And once your phone has powered off, you're actually gonna to need to go into stock Android recovery. So to do this, you're gonna to need to press the volume down button, camera button, and power button all at the same time. You need to make sure you press and hold all three of these. So at the same time, volume down, camera button, power button, press and hold. So just keep it held down, don't let go. Just keep holding it down. I press and hold till these bottom backlit keys light up like so, and there I am. I am in stock Android recovery. Let me go ahead and zoom in on this now. All right, so as you can see, Android System Recovery right up there. Uh, what you're gonna need to do is just go ahead and go down to apply SD card update dot zip. So volume down button to move it down. So select volume down, apply update SD card dot zip, and then press the home button. So once you're on there, press the home button to select it. It's gonna find that update zip file you just put on your SD card and run through the install process. So it's gonna just basically install EI22 Gingerbread on your phone, just like the over the air update would. What this download is, is actually the over the air update that gets downloaded to your phone and then applied through Android recovery just like this. We're just doing it manually and it's not and 
as it's not doing it automatically, obviously. So it might take a little while to install, so be patient with this install process. My guess is it might even reboot once or twice. So just be patient with the install process. And if it gives you an error when you hit apply update.zip, could have been a bad download, so re-download the file and try it again. Just make sure it is renamed properly as well. So uh, let that run. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run, and then once it's done, I'll uh, be right back. All right, so as you can see, install from SD card complete. Not sure it said done. I'm guessing it's just gonna go ahead and reboot my phone now. See what happens. It did take a little while, so be patient. Shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Actually, give it 15. It shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. If it does, then there's definitely a problem. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let this reboot, and I'm sure once it boots back up, I will be on Android 2.3.5 EI22 Gingerbread. So as you can see, Stock uh, boot animation, same as how it was on EC05. Takes you to the Galaxy S screen. All right, now that my phone has booted up, I'm running official Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread on my Samsung Epic. So I'll go ahead and unlock it. Um, as you can see, a little different looks to it, different background, different looks up in the notification bar. So just overall a different look. I'm gonna hit menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and scroll down some more and zoom in over here. As you can see, firmware version 2.3.5 right there, baseband version EI22, so at the end. So you know you're running the EI22 modem now, which is very cool, and build number Gingerbread EI22, the main thing right there. So there you go, Gingerbread EI22. So you know you are on the latest software version for the Samsung Epic 4G, so very exciting. But anyways, that's just how you update to it from stock EC05. If you do run into any problems, have any questions, feel free to ask. I do have a review video of this. Go ahead and click on that. It's in the description of the video. And follow me on Twitter or Facebook as well. And subscribe as well for future how-to videos and videos in general. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.